Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. The automations, I believe, will be going, will be running today. At the end of yesterday, we financed the BNB so that we do have the BNB available to do the sends. And then the tech team uh, sat there all night with it. They got to a point where it was able to be tested. We then funded it to be tested. And then I suspect that they did test it. Rhino Bucks, I, I didn't even look at it yet today. Um, well, I did look at it, it was like 264, but I haven't bought any yet. Um, I'm moving money around a couple different places. Um, so I'll be buying it later tonight. So just to let you know, uh, I don't think I'll be doing any purchases during the AM hours. So it'll probably be the latter half of the PM hours. Um, so that's the commentary on Rhino Bucks, but again, it's still right where it needs to be. The proposal, I still have not heard back. I expect that I would hear back by tomorrow if I don't. And again, the next step to hearing back, by the way, would just be setting up a call. So it's not a yes or no, it's okay. Now let's set up a call. And I've, I've, so I've already thought that 10 ways to send it. Again, I, I understand what concessions I'm willing to make, but I also understand what structural changes I would make, right? Because I understand the person I'm speaking to and I understand what is comfortable to that person. And like any negotiation in life, you have to know your audience. In any negotiation, there's one that wants a little more than the other and they're willing to do a little bit more. Or there's one that, um, does it need it as bad as the other? And it's just kind of the way it works. So to walk into a negotiation and believe that, okay, well, I'm here and this is what I want and this is what you want. So let's compromise. That's, um, that's a really, it's a really false way to walk in. You need to know your audience, but also conversely, if you walk in and you, okay, okay, okay. I, I, anything, anything here. Well, then they just look at you like you're like a, like a, a dude to do. Right? Like, so your company's so great, your idea is so great that you would just blow it all up and do everything that I say just because you want to partner with me. So that doesn't make sense either. So there is a line you have to walk and I've been walking it in my head and I'm, I'm really confident that when that call happens, I will have good news to share. So that's just where I'm at and I love it and I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I still believe uh, Rhino Friend will be launched at uh, the end of next weekend, although it might be a little bit longer because the automation said thrown such a, such a monkey wrench that it's now Thursday and we still haven't gotten to completing the wireframe that we could finalize with the team to get into production for Monday. So I want to just manage expectations now. I'm still shooting for next weekend, but worst case, it'll be the weekend afterwards. Um, so that's that. But still really great. In fact, so we wrote an article. Um, we had it published yesterday. And again, I'm, I'm, I, I'm generous with the word wrote an article and published because I do understand it's, it's our site, right? But it's still written. Um, to be an article. And as you can see that we have like 15 of them, we've been writing them since March, you know, we don't need to write them and, and no one forces us to write them. But I just believe if, if, if you're real, you should, you should have content people can read on a regular basis, let them see you and, 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 and understand what's going on. So that's up. It's in the email as of yesterday. I do want to reach out to everyone and just see if I can get a bump up in the plans. I just don't have the time to do it. I don't want to do a mass email because I find that that seems very impersonal. It's almost like if you if you got shot on the floor, you're not dead, right? Like you just got shot and you're in a crowded area. If you yell, somebody help me, nobody helps you because each person knows that it's on the next person. They could pass the buck. But if you're in a crowded area and you say, you in the blue shirt, I just got shot, please help me. That person will always come running to you. It's just behavioral science, right? Like that's how we're, that's how we are. And I found that the mass emails that I did had a diminishing effectiveness. Um, they, would, they would be good. And then each week it was less and less and less, and, and that's fine. But the less and less and less was not um, representative of the desires of the people. It was representative of the desires of those that can be persuaded with mass appeal. Um, so I do want to write 600 individual emails. And, and I think I would get really good results with that. The problem is, do you know how long it takes to write 600 individual emails? It would be at least a day or two. And I can't even imagine having a day or two available. But that is on my to-do list. I really want to do that. And the sooner, the better. So maybe there'll be a day I just don't go to sleep, right? And I just, you know, 48 hours straight through. Um, so I have this call at 10. Well, I've, I've been working since 2.30, by the way. A lot of it's been Rhino Wealth. I did get to some emails. I will get to the rest. This call at 10. We'll put up the replay before 11. Then Rhino Wealth at 11. Hopefully, we'll put up the replay before 11.30, 11.40. I have a doctor at 12. A total checkup. I'm, I'm fine. Then I suspect I'll be back by 1.30, 2 o'clock. And then I'm going to finish the emails, uh, finish Rhino Bucks, prepare the email for this evening, and then get back to pretending to be a lawyer. So that's what my day looks like. 
Um, that's why there is a software automation, no personal emails, except for special cases. Yeah, I, again, and even in the emails, I could, you know, put the variable as the name. Hi, Abdul. Hi, Renee. Hi, Frida. I don't want that. I actually want to really just email everyone individually. Like, hey, um, just want to reach out for a second. It's just the Pandora's box of the time that that would be that that would demand is, is quite large. And I would never, I would never open that box if I was unable to fulfill it. Like for instance, hey, Brian, bop, 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 bop. Oh, cool, Aunt, thanks. And then maybe Brian will book a call or, or text or, or email me once or twice because now we just, I've reinvigorated our relationship. Well, who am I to then go ahead and say, no, 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 I was just doing that to get money, right? Like, see you later. Like, that's not Rhino, it would never be. Which means to open that box, um, there is a certain time element that I have to I have to calculate that will be attributed to it for a duration of the next week, two weeks, three weeks, right? Um, and it's funny when I say things like that out loud because it's very easy to think I'm like completely nuts, but it really is the DNA of every decision we make is how do I make sure that I'm always that everyone's always respected? It just it just is, and that's what's cool about these calls. That just happened in real time. Like I, I don't even know what I said, uh, Denville. I'm not getting the emails from you know. A couple of people keep saying that to me and it's driving me nuts because I even look at it and it says they're getting the emails. Um, but I, obviously I believe you. Uh, Deadville, can you go ahead and email me and provide a secondary email or a third dairy or a fourth dairy, as many emails as you have? Because I'll just sign them all up, right? Um, so I will look in troubleshooting why you're not getting it, but I also will do the duplication of efforts and making sure that we have a redundancy in place that every email you have gets it. Um, okay, 10-11. Love you all.